best person to run a manufacturing facility, someone who's super cheap. A load bank will cost you 20 grand easily. Yeah. So what did we do? We just created a hot water heater and it does the same thing. I love it. Yeah. Home Depot, a barrel and some water, you know? So this is, so let, me a, let me give you a little concept of how this, how this thing ties together. Tired of filling up the water you put that school in. Yeah, that's right. Um, a little bit of uh, oil in there just to keep the mosquitoes out of it, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. they love it otherwise. So you can see this is a propane tank, and here you have a shutoff valve, a regulator that feeds this little gas powered Honda motor there. It's coupled up to the nine phase generator. Um, the way that we've devised this system, we have the logic control in here that makes this into a battery charger. So the batteries will be then feeding an inverter. Um, and this was initially set up on that previous unit that you saw sitting on the bench in there, so it's set up for high voltage. But uh, here you can see it references the battery bank voltage and then the generator voltage. And when you've tied it to a bank of batteries, you're gonna get the, the data in from that battery bank voltage. It tells you, oh, I'm down to 60% time to charge it back up. Yeah. Um, the other thing that this generator works really well with is super caps. Because super caps are really spongy in terms of allowing a charge and this thing will flow a lot of amps. So what it'll do is it'll get the battery bank voltage when it drops down to a certain point, it initiates the PLC to start the engine so it opens up the valve, it, it puts ignition on the engine, it waits a few seconds there for the gas flow, it cranks it, once it sees it started, it gets the voltage readout, pulls the starter off, then it waits for a little bit, and then the contactor will normally, I've had to re remap it a little so that it'll work with this load tank, it's a different animal altogether. But all it's gonna do is on a time basis, it's gonna engage the contactor, which engages the load bank, okay? Otherwise, it would be waiting for the voltage to rise beyond the battery voltage Make sense? You can't get through that pole. No. So, what we'll do is, y'all uh, want to stand over on this okay. side here. You can, you can stay where you're at right there. You can see this. But, uh, you know, here's the kick daddy. You'll see it'll come up, the voltage will start coming up once it starts rotating. This will come up after a few seconds, it'll engage, and you'll see this will match it then, which tells you the contact is closed. And we're making tea. That's about all there is to it. He's looking for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> so in a few seconds, this shutoff valve will open and you'll see this gauge come up. And I hit the prime button a couple times. I'll start.